Welcome back, everybody. We're back together here with another video, and we're going to be reviewing Ahsoka episode number six, Far, Far Away. Now, I really did like the last episode uh, with Anakin. Ahsoka, um, I believe, uh, clearly um, uh, died. Uh, last time we saw her, she was actually inside of the Purgle, and she was on her way to this new galaxy to go after... Um, uh, and find Sabine. And of course, Sabine left with um, Balin's skull to go to this new galaxy to find Ezra. Now, I'm going to be honest about this episode. I think a lot of people really, really were liking this episode. I was not feeling this episode that much. What about you? Um, I mean, I. um, It was OK. It, it, it wasn't horrible. No, but um, it seems it like... It wasn't great. <laughs> yeah, it seems like they find um, Ezra so fast. Yeah, I, now that's something that people have been complaining about. Um, let me just uh, skip over here uh, near the end right here because you're going to see uh, Ezra and Sabine actually meet up for the first time. And it was so fast I mean, she's on this new planet and uh, we really should actually back up on this. But still, that meeting meeting was very, very underwhelming. They haven't seen each other in 10 years. And I was like, uh, this is it. Yeah, it seems like it's not very emotional. No, it, it wasn't. I wasn't really feeling it at all. But um, let's go back over here. Um, Sabine is actually. Um, she's actually um, a prisoner on. um the ship as it's uh, about to come out of hyperspace right there. And uh, Balin um, was talking to Sabine. Sabine is like, uh, we had a deal. I'm going to see Ezra. Uh, doesn't look like um, initially that was going to happen. So because when they actually arrive on um, this new world here, you actually get to see um, Night Sisters from um, Clone Wars, you know, Mm -hmm. Same uniform, everything. This is actually the home world of the uh, Night Sisters, and they actually um, imprison um, Sabine. Now, one thing about this here, they could sense that she was a Jedi, which I don't get that, considering, you know, she's not really a Jedi. Balin is there. He was a Jedi. Shin, they actually used the Force. Sabine? She Mars, can't use the Force. She can't use the Force. Now, she does attempt to use it again. So I didn't know about that. Um, I really didn't um, like that. But um, anyway, um, Balin and um, Shin, Balin has his own goals here. It, he seems to just be using Thrawn's. Thrawn is um, trying to get to something on this planet. Something is calling to him on this planet. Don't know what it is, but I think it's safe to say. He is the best character in the show. Yes. Balin is really, really good. Rip Ray Stevenson, man. Man, I wish he was still alive because he is so good in this. He talks about Order 66. He says that um, he likes the idea of the Jedi Order or the Jedi, but he doesn't really miss the Jedi Order. He tells Shen that, no, you're not a Jedi. You're something uh, greater or something like that. I don't remember exactly. So... It seems like uh, Shin wants power, but he wants, he just want you know, to get things in place, like, because of, he said um, he was raised in the temple. Yeah, he's raised yeah. in the Jedi temple. And then it was destroyed, and he, he was tired of the cycle, you know. Yeah, yeah, he was talking about how, you know, the Jedi rise, or like, um, um, the Sith or something like that um, uh, rise. He says it's a continuing cycle and he believes like it's their time, but maybe he wants to establish something here on this, in this new galaxy right here, because this is a different galaxy. It seems like he want like different kind of peace, you know, a different type of power. That's an, he wants power. I think that's clear. Maybe he wants like Jedi to rule again, but in a peaceful you know, in a different way, so. yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he doesn't believe, I guess, in a dogmatic view of the Jedi, to quote Palpatine. Uh, right here is when we um, meet Thrawn. 
his ship um, is coming up. Now, this same ship that him and Ezra are on when they were transported away at the end of um, Star Wars Rebels. And uh, these stormtroopers here, I don't believe that they are alive. I believe that the Night Sisters have res resurrected these souls inside of these stormtroopers right here. Because Thrawn has an agreement with uh, the Night Sisters. Now, one thing I got to say, and it's disappointing with Thrawn. I got to find the right image here because this is uh, weird here. Thrawn, Thrawn looked like he was eating, eating one too many cheeseburgers. He's a bit chubby. Did you notice that? He's a bit chubby. Thrawn was always known to be like in really good shape. And Lars Mikkelsen, who actually voiced Thrawn, is actually playing him in live action. Um, he could have laid off the cheeseburgers a little bit because he doesn't look in shape. Mm, I'm I'm not really aware of that, but um Well you remember in um in uh Rebels, Thrawn was actually working yeah. out and uh fighting um droids and stuff training, you know? Yeah. But um I'm just surprised where like they find him so fast. It just Yeah, we we're, we're gonna get to that because here with um Sabine is uh, right here uh, talking to Thrawn. And Thrawn says, hey, you you can go. And he lets her go. They give her um, like this wolf type of creature to um, to leave on. But Thrawn has other ideas. Look, look at that belly right there. Come on. Hmm. Come on. Work out. Eat better. But anyway, Thrawn is really using um, Shin and, um, and Balin now to hunt down Ezra and... Sabine, and he doesn't care if they die either. He because he wants to get back home and become quote unquote heir to the empire, I guess you could say. So they're being used. He doesn't care anything about them. But it was super duper easy the way Sabine just found Ezra. Now I'm wondering, Thrawn never saw Ezra once they got there, or I mean, Ezra Ezra was pretty much right next door. Pretty easy to find, and that is a major, major complaint here because, um, I mean, Sabine runs into some, um, some, um, I don't know what you call them, but she fights them. She uses the lightsaber, kills them, and then she finds these, um, oh, that's the little wolf creature she was riding on. She finds like these, uh, turtle like creatures right there. Yeah. And they bring her to Ezra. And Shannon and um, Balin are, you know, following their trail to hunt her down and everything like that. But this is where they find Ezra, just like in less than a day. You know what? I wish they have um, a flashback of what happened, you know, to Israel and Don, like when they disappear, you know, in that into that gal galaxy. Well, I think I think it's pretty simple that um you know they got in a hyper hyperspace with the uh purgle and you know that could actually be a spinoff but i i think it'd be underwhelming considering um thrawn didn't seem to care much about ezra at all no but i'm just wondering how like israel and how the the turtle you know yeah i didn't really meet i didn't that. really care for those creatures <laughs> myself I, I think it's you know they're quite cute yeah but it it does remind me of uh, Ewok or something. In a way. Ewok's a cool little. Yeah. Yeah, but Ezra just pops up. I knew you'd come. And then they had this conversation. And it's kind of like the conversation is more like he was only gone like a week versus 10 years. And I was like, Ugh, man, this is not good. Not good. Wasn't feeling this episode here. And um, there you have uh, Fat Thrawn right there and Morgan Elsbeth from um, talking and um i think they're gonna try to leave um balin and shin behind and that's your episode right there uh, not my favorite no i mean i have a you know one problem with the um one of the tripper where like it has like the silver medal. Yeah, he's. I think he's not even alive. He's a resurrected soul because that's night sister magic, I believe. And one thing that we didn't mention, 
What's the name of the show? Ahsoka, right? Yeah. Ahsoka only shows up at the beginning and that's it. Disney Star Wars is starting to do this where the main characters have episodes where they're not really even in the show. I mean, we saw this in Boba Fett. That was two straight episodes, which was the best episodes. He wasn't even in those episodes. They did the same thing with The Mandalorian, too. Din Jaren, not in episodes of his own show. And we only got eight episodes of this show right here. And Ahsoka is pretty much taken out. I knew this was going to happen. But we should have saw this coming um, because um, remember Luke and um, The Force Awakens? Mm -hmm. Same thing. Wasn't in the movie. Shows up at the end. And that was it. I don't like that. I don't like when they take the main characters and take them out of their shows. I don't like that. Because we only got so much time with Ahsoka and they do this. I'm like, oh, man, no. No. It's a mediocre episode to me. I may be in the minority here. But I don't know. Anything else you want to say about this? Mm. No. Well, let us know what you guys think about this episode of Ahsoka. Um, kind of underwhelming for me. I know people are kind of praising it and everything like that, but um, this episode really was not for me. We only got two episodes left, so we have to see what happens. But that's going to wrap it up, guys. We'll be back tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe. Goodbye.